I'm Dr. Jonathan Oates, Archivist for the London Borough of Ealing, and this is another in the series of local history talks. As you can see, we are standing outside the former Goldsmiths Arms Houses in Acton, which is just north of Acton Park. In the 1650s, John Perrin, a goldsmith, lived in Acton and he owned 200 acres of land in the parish. When he died, his will of 1657 left all this land in Acton to the Goldsmiths Company. In 1811, the company decided to build almshouses for elderly members of the company and their families. Charles Beasley was the architect and he built the almshouses at the cost of £1,200. Initially, there were for six male and six female residents and also there was the staff of a superintendent, a matron and a labourer. There was also a chapel built for residents as well. In later years, additional housing was added to the original buildings. The residents included jewellers, silversmiths as well as goldsmiths, but most of the residents tended to be female as women tend to live longer than men. These residents also had sometimes a servant or a younger relative living with them to help them. These almshouses are unlike most almshouses because most almshouses are for poor but respectable local inhabitants. But in this case, the residents are said were the elderly members of the goldsmiths company and their dependents. In more recent times however, the almshouses were no longer needed for their initial purposes and the company sold the almshouses which are now luxury flats um, in Acton but they still have the name the goldsmiths arms houses as you can see above with the date of the foundation of the company. An interesting footnote is that in the 1980s TV series Minder there's an episode in which the goldsmiths arms houses or of exterior of them are featured. Thank you for listening and watching this. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments please put them in the comments box below. Thank you.